All right, in this video, this is T's multiple choice math review video number seven, and we're going to talk about comparing three things. Over in my Facebook group, which you can find a link to that in the description, as well as several other Facebook groups pertaining to the T's, I've seen this tree problem pop up dealing with apples and peaches or whatever. I do have a video on it, but I want to focus on this topic even more, and I want to show you three ways that you can do this. But before we do that, there is a huge update to my multiple choice math review. For those that have purchased the math review, when you log into your account, you've always had this one here, T's math review all questions. There's over 100 questions, but also what I've added here at no additional charge is the T's practice test timed. So what is this? It takes out of those over 100 questions, it pulls 36 random questions, and yes, you will be timed, 54 minutes to do those 36 questions. This will simulate that actual T's test. You know, it's multiple choice. Try to do all 36 in the 54 minutes. Now you may be wondering, where can you get this multiple choice review? Again, it includes over 100 questions all in one set, and then you also now get that time test. But over here at my store, www.bcraftmath.com store, it's this one right here. I encourage you to try the free sample first. If you tap on that, as soon as you pay for it, you're gonna get access to all of those questions. But sometime soon after your purchase, you will also get the login information and that allows you to log into your dashboard here and access these quizzes and questions that I have made available for you. One purchase, I'm constantly updating this. When I initially released it, there were only 80 questions. Now there's well over 100. But anyway, back to this problem here. In a container of gummy vitamins, Jax noticed there were five red gummies for every eight blue gummies. He also noticed there were five blue gummies for every three yellow gummies. If there were 24 yellow gummies in the container, how many red gummies were there? three approaches here. The first approach I'm going to show you is the proportion approach. This technique will always work. It's not the fastest in my opinion, but let's go ahead and look at it anyway. What we see here in this first sentence, five red for every eight blue. So if I create a fraction and I write five over eight, I'm just going to remind myself that I have five red, I have eight blue. Now this proportion only compares reds and blues. Looking at the next sentence, he also noticed there were five blue for every three yellow. We cannot put the five at the bottom here because this is comparing blue to yellow. So I'm gonna create yet another proportion, five over three. This five represents blue, this three represents yellow. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these proportions together to get our final answer. We know there's 24 yellow gummies in the container and our goal is to figure out how many reds there are. Well, I can take this 24 yellow gummies. The only spot we can use that 24 is going to be at the bottom of this fraction over here. So notice I have yellow and yellow and this will allow us to solve for the blue. And you may say, well, we don't want the blue, we want the red. Well, hang tight. Now at this point in the game, I hope that you can solve proportions really fast. I'm gonna take five times 24, and then I'm going to immediately divide by that three to solve for B. So five times 24, immediately divide by three, and we get 40 blues. So B equals 40. I should have included that answer choice over here, but I didn't. And now guess what, I just did. But that is not the correct answer, okay? I just want you to be careful with that. Well, what can we do with this 40 blue? That will go over here to the bottom of this fraction and now we can solve for the number of red. That's what we're trying to find. So let's do the same process. Multiply the five and the 40 and immediately divide by this eight right here. So five times 40 divided by eight, we get 25 red gummies and that is our final answer to this problem. Now. How else can we do this? Are there faster ways? I'm going to do a technique called dimensional analysis. And you might say, oh my gosh, I don't wanna do that. Do not stop listening to me here, please. When you get into nursing school, you're gonna to have to take a course called med dosage and you cannot get away from dimensional analysis. So here's a little glimpse into the future. Now you won't be talking about gummies in med dosage, but still the math is the same. We're trying to figure out how many red gummies. So I'm going to create a fraction where I have red gummies at the top. And as a matter of fact, we've already done that. Uh, we have five red, but watch what I'm gonna do here. 
five red, I'm going to write the word, and that's for every eight blue. Now, the goal for dimensional analysis is for us to continue multiplying fractions, and we want to cancel words out. Watch this. If I multiply by another fraction, such as this one, five blue for every three yellow, watch how I'm going to write this down. Five blue for every three yellow. Now, the order that I wrote this one is very important. I'm trying to cancel out words. And if you have a word at the bottom and the same word shows up at the top, cancel those words out. So we've gotten rid of the blues because again, we had one at the bottom, we had one at the top, we can cancel them out. Now let's do one more fraction. What's another number that we see up here? We see 24 yellow. So 24, and I'm going to put this at the top. Why am I putting that at the top? And I can put this over one as well. But again, why am I putting this at the top? We can cancel out the words yellow. The only word we have left is red. So guess what we can do? We can multiply these fractions and check out how fast we can do this. I'm going to multiply all of my top numbers and then whatever numbers I have at the bottom, I'm just going to divide them. Here's what I mean. Taking my top numbers and multiplying them. Five times five times 24. 5 times 5 times 24, and then I'm going to divide by 8, and then I'm going to divide by this other number, 3, and check it out. Boom, we get the same exact answer. How do we know this is right? Because the only word we have left in our dimensional analysis is the word red. Notice that matches this over here perfectly. And now, finally, that third way to solve these types of problems. Now you probably would be picking between these two, but I wanna show you the way that I do it as if I wasn't teaching a student how to do this. What goes on in my head? Well, here we go, 24 yellows. So what I would do with this three here is I would just say, okay, well, if I multiply that by eight, that gives me 24. Notice that's our 24 yellows. Well, if I multiply this by eight, I need to multiply this one by eight. Five times eight gives me 40. 40 what? 40 blue. Sound familiar? Well, how can I use this 40 blue? Well, it turns out if I take this eight, which represents blue, and I multiply it by five, we get the 40 that matches the blue 40 we have here and here. What did I multiply this by? By five. So if I come and multiply this one by five, and it's pure irony that this was a five here. That's purely ironic. But check it out. If we take five times five, we get 25 red. So there you have it, three different ways of doing this. Using two proportions, using dimensional analysis, that's one of my favorite techniques, even though I don't really teach it a lot for T's, or just straight up problem solving skills. Taking the 24, so three times eight, then take the five times the eight, that gave us 40. Well, eight times five gives us that same 40. As long as we multiplied by the same number here, we get that answer of 25 yet again. So out of those three techniques, Find one that works best for you because it's pretty certain that you're going to have something on the T's where you're going to be comparing three things. And there you have it, video number seven of the T's Multiple Choice Math Review. Again, check out that free sample over at my website. And if you want over 100 questions and the new time practice test, go ahead and pick up that full review. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.